There are three files that you're going to want to get from Poland Pickup, and they are PS06RGB, PS06CMYK, and PS0601. And they are in a folder, I believe it's called Color, not to be mistaken with Color Correction. So the first one we're going to look at here is the PS06 RGB, and this is showing us the color model of RGB, which stands for red, green, and blue. You can see those, um, those circles here. This is an additive color model because this is using light to emit the colors. Okay, imagine these three color circles as light beams color coming from flashlights with those colored light gels. Now, if we use our move tool and go ahead and check up here, auto select, that means you don't have to go to the layers panel to select, to select each layer. And notice that you can move it around and you can see exactly what they would look like if just the red and the blue intersected or just the green and the blue or again just the red and the green okay um, you can see that white light is generated where all three of them overlap or intersect okay now if we hide each one of these layers you can see that all that's left is black. It's like turning off lights. When you turn off light, there is no color. Okay, that's what the additive color model does. Now if we flip over here to the PS06 CMYK, we're looking at a CMYK color model, which stands for cyan, that's the blue, magenta, yellow, and black. Um, the K actually stands for key, but that is black. And this is a subtractive color model. And that means that as ink is applied to a piece of paper, these colors absorb light. And that is why CMYK is typically used for creating um, print designs. RGB is for when you keep it on the computer. CMYK is for print. So ideally, by combining these uh, CMY, the cyan, magenta, and yellow inks together, the color black should result. In reality, the combination of these three pigments creates a dark, muddy color, so black is added to create a panel with true blacks. Um, if we move these ag around again, you can see the different color combinations of what they create, okay, and then of course in the middle is the black or the muddy color okay and that's because the light is um, or the color is not absorbed um, we can individually drag these around to see what the three colors do um, notice that the black appears at the intersection of all three but really we would have to do um, pure black to put it on a printing press Okay, so now let's go to the PS0601 where we have the photo of the woman clown. And um, unless you are using, um, well, I don't need to tell you that, we're going to do most of our work in RGB mode. Um, so if we come up here to image mode, you'll see the different modes here. Make sure that RGB is checked on this uh, particular image. The CMYK mode is limited in its capabilities. You have fewer menu selections, and if you work in CMYK, you have already made some decisions about your final image output. Okay, so in this lesson, you're gonna, um, or sorry, in this file, you're gonna see how to um, see the different colors here. So we are going to um, go open our color picker. And if I, I don't know, select one of these very vibrant colors out here, notice how it's up here at the very top right. Remember that this is where it is fully saturated. Okay. Now, if I hit Control Y, or sorry, Command Y, um, notice how this background changed a little bit. I'm going to, I'll show you that again in a minute. 
Um, first off, if you look up here, notice that we have this little triangle right here. This triangle is telling us that it is out of gamut. That means that if we were to print this, that it cannot print this color. It is too pure. So we would have to click on this, and it's going to go to the next closest color that it could print. And there it is. Now, we also come over here and we see this cube that tells us it's not a web safe color, meaning that if we were to put it on the internet, that the color would not be accurate either. So if we click on that, it takes us further up. It's more saturated, but again, it's now out of gamut for print. Okay, so that's something that you need to be wary of and make sure that you're taking into account before you either publish for web or publish for print because your colors are important. All right, so now I'm going to do the command Y again. And I want you to notice the colors very carefully. Notice that a lot of them, the, the pink in the background, the green, the blues, they all became a whole lot duller. And that's because we turned on proof colors, which is right up here under the view menu. Okay, so I can turn it off in the same place as well. What the proof colors does is it attempts to simulate what the colors in this image would look like if it were to be printed. Um, it is controlled by the choices you make in your color settings, and that's why understanding color settings is important. Okay, so remember that as you're choosing colors, that you need to think about your out of gamut, out of print gamut, or out of web safe colors so that you can make sure that you properly set things the way they need to be, and then don't forget to check the command Y for your proof colors.